Jalal, um, welcome and congratulations uh, to your offers of uh, Porter's and McKinsey in Dubai. So how are you feeling at this moment in time? Uh, very, very happy. Um, yeah, feel like I'm in a dream. So it's a good feeling. <laughs> very good. So um, maybe let's start with how did you get the, the news, right? So what, what happened here? What was the process? When did they call, call you? What was the feedback? So give us a little bit of intel here on this. Yeah, it was, um, yeah, there was, it was an interesting process, like went through, you know, the first rounds got feedback and then got through to three final round interviews. And uh, after the final, final, the third final round interview, I was super lucky because I got a call an hour after the interview because uh, I absolutely the worst part of ev the whole process, worse than the preparation, worse than everything was the waiting after the decision uh, to be made. So uh, I was so happy that I got a quick call. Yes. And uh, I mean, what did they what did they tell you? Right. So was there any conversation uh, that that uh, particularly stood out there? Um, uh, the conversation of getting the offer or the conversation yes. during the interviews? But, I mean, both, right? We speak about the interview later, but uh, yeah. first of all, let's speak about the, the offer call. <laughs> yeah, it, it was really, it was really quick. He, uh, the partner himself, like the guy who interviewed me in the final mm -hmm. round called me and said, like, um, I'm happy to extend the offer to you. And he was like, congratulations, really excited for you to join uh, if you decide to. He knew he knew I was like he he knew I was going to join. <laughs> yeah. Just from and, here. And, and also we knew it, right? So everyone I think knew it on the way on the process because also excitement was uh, pumping up then. And it culminated more or less in in the uh, McKinsey final round, right? So we built it in a, a very systematic way. You practiced also before uh, with like some other opportunities and, and you were growing continuously, right? So it was really like the big bang at the end um, that that was uh, getting you the results here. And also when, when will you be able to to start I'll be starting in January, so I've got some time to myself. Uh, even though I'm super excited, I um, also know I need to just like enjoy myself before I get started. Yes, absolutely. I can only recommend this, right? So I do uh, to each and every single person. So back then, uh, for me, I was uh, traveling Southeast Asia, right? With mm -hmm. literally no money, uh, but time. And uh, that was a nice uh, feeling and an adventure. Right now, it's a bit different. <laughs> now, money is fine, but time is not there anymore, right? So uh, <laughs> therefore, make sure to uh, always in between jobs and also especially uh, before a job like this, right? Enjoy yourself, take uh, some time, uh, energize, and then uh, enjoy, enjoy the start, right? But mm -hmm. um, let's maybe also speak a bit more about uh, the journey, right? Um, as I said, it, it culminated in that big bang. But um, when you were starting the, the the coaching program and also when you're looking at the development path that you took, so what would be the thoughts here that you're having? What was standing out in terms of the development um, that you went through? Yeah, so I think my my start is, is uh, pretty unique. Um, First of all, I wasn't totally convinced at the before I signed the 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 start of the program. Yes. So obviously, once I commit to it, I I go a hundred percent. Um. But before I had a long conversation with City, and he took a lot of convincing. I needed to speak to like alumni from the program to see it's legit. Um. I needed to make sure that this is the right place for me. But once I started, that's it. Like for me, I'm totally bought in. Um, yeah. And in the beginning, I had z very little um, experience from the normal things like uh, case in point and all that kind of stuff, um, which is good and bad. Like uh, for me, it was a struggle to get used to all of it. But the good thing is that I didn't have I didn't wasn't relying on like old habits to break yeah. old habits. Yeah. So uh, that was the difference for me, I guess. Uh, it took a while for me to grasp the fundamentals. But once I got the fundamentals, I think I was like practicing so much uh, that it made it so that I was solid by the end of it. Yeah, and um, I mean, so from for me, it was also an interesting journey to observe, right? So I'm not sure if you remember um, at the early touch points, which were not pointing into a direction of excellence. Let's uh, let's frame it like this, right? Mm -hmm. um, 
But what I saw with you are two things, and and that was uh, also amazing to to see from our perspective, from my perspective, right? Once it, one thing was you spoke up if there was something that you didn't understand, right? And and also that um, you were unclear about. Uh, and you are also pushing pretty hard, right? So, which I, I like, um, because ultimately this is also something you need to do if you want to learn something new, right? Because no one can look inside your head. It's impossible, right? So, so here, this was the one thing. And then you just relentlessly executed up on the feedback, right? Um, uh, to the point when you got it right. And this was also amazing to see. Um, and also just like a great professional ethic here at, at, at work, right? So um, therefore, I'm, I'm also 100%, 100 sure this will be uh, leading into a great career because you, sh you showed all characteristics and traits that you would expect um, from a young consultant um, in the first like 24 months. Uh, so um, I'm pretty sure this is also an environment where you will thrive. Um, <laughs> so great, right? Um, now, speaking about the conviction at the beginning, so did you think this was a scam at the very yeah. beginning? <laughs> okay, second first, right? I'm, 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 I'm just like starting to ask this now uh, to, to everyone I'm speaking to, right? Uh, because I, I love it. I love it. Um, okay, so it took some time here to convince yourself uh, on it, right? Um, uh, okay, I take this as a feedback. Good. Um, so in terms of the development path, you took is there anything particularly that stood out um any of the the elements or any moment of truth so what would you say what was like the the, the most important um steps on the way yeah i think for me uh because of like my my situation where i was struggling to grasp the fundamentals mm -hmm. practicing was like the really really big game changer for me and the, it was a specific way that i i practiced um so um, I would do a lot of peer practices with fellow peers, but I record every single peer practice. Like I have like maybe like 70 plus recordings on my phone. Um, and I would listen back to every single recording and I would, um, I would like uh, critically and analyze my performance every time. And obviously, you know, like, I'll put it at 1.5 or 2 speed so that yes. I can get through them faster. Yes. But, uh, but <laughs> after every peer practice, I was looking at that. And it was amazing to see in the beginning, like if I did a good performance, then I'd yeah. be so happy. But by the end of it, if I did like a good performance, I'll be down, like I'll be sad because I needed, like I was, by that time I was used to having like excellent performance every case. Yeah. So like um, for me to see that progression, every every uh day uh i was peer practicing um it's that's what really kept kept me going and and helped me to realize i'm on the right path to yes. getting to the direction where i want to go so i i really like this right <clears throat> so two two points maybe from 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 my end so one of the the concepts here is indeed to observe yourself because um i mean the the, the mentors are here to give you direction right um, but they are not going to hold your hands in every single performance that you're doing and they shouldn't because ultimately you will sit there in the interview and you will need to learn to deal with situations where you're getting a question that is unknown, right? Yeah. And this needs to be a mindset that, that needs to be instilled at this moment um, because this will happen in like four rounds of or like two rounds, of, but, but four interviews, sometimes five, sometimes six even um, in total. And this is also a mindset topic. And what I've realized um, is that not many individuals are listening to themselves. And if you do this, and uh, whoever is, is watching this here, I can only recommend this. It is an absolute horrible uh, situation usually if you if you are forced to listen to yourself the first time. Because what you think and also how do you believe you convey messages is not how you're actually doing it. So if you are forced to listen to yourself and you really think about what, what actually did I say there? So uh, out of the, the perspective of someone listening to you, this is a, a very surprising uh, moment usually for most people at the beginning, but you're getting used to this. Now, the one thing I want to calibrate this or also add a bit is in terms of how you are thriving then, because ultimately once you have the direction and the feedback, you will have two to three observation areas that you will need to get under control, right? It's a step-by-step -step process. You cannot fix every single thing at the same moment in time. It's like learning to drive a car, right? So you will not be able to do it all at once. 
Um, but it's really about, so this is now at this moment in time, the focus area I will need to concentrate on, right? And then you will, uh, once you've mastered this, like two to three to four cases later, right? Then there is another focus area and then there is another focus area. And then at the very end, right? And this is what um, we keep reiterating. And I told you at least 150 times, I think, it is not anymore about the remaining 10% or 5% of polishing. It's about getting the 80% right. And this is so important, right? Because we have also a lot of people that trying to go from 95 to 99 and from 99 to 100%. And so, but every single time you tweak something at the very end, there is a risk that you break something at the core, right? So therefore yeah. we are also uh, telling people, yes, do this and, and do it in a systematic way. And, and exactly as you have described it, but at the very end, focus on the fundamentals, right? And not on the re remaining 5% here, what could happen on what uh, potentially would never happen in, in actually the cases, right? Okay, yeah. cool. Maybe, um, so if you think about the struggles that you had at the beginning, is there anything particularly that stood out? Anything here that you would um, point out what was especially hard for you and that you needed to overcome throughout the program? Yeah, like like I mentioned, it was really the fun the fundamentals that like threw me off in the beginning. I was even struggling to grasp the the simple things um, that I knew I should have like I should be able to grasp like pretty easily. But it just took you know going over the fundamentals like um, a few more times to help me to like really make sure that I have that core like you're talking about that ninety percent or that eighty percent before I you know, start uh, properly. And um, that I think that was a struggle in the beginning, like to re like to, to see something simple that's supposed to be done and struggle to do that. I was like taken back by that, but I just double down, get through the fundamentals again, make sure you're solid and, and just keep practicing. Um, and it, it worked itself out in the end. Uh, but yeah, like you said, the fundamentals are so important. And by the end of by the end of it, you'll get a super unorthodox case and you'll still be able to solve it. Yes. And this is also where the full power of this kicks in, right? Um, so usually people always are afraid of final rounds. Um, this is not what I um, what I can confirm here, right? Uh, so for for clients here and also for people that have uh, properly learned to to do analytical problem solving, usually this is the moment of truth where they can demonstrate that they are different, right, from people learning frameworks or buckets or whatsoever by heart. So usually um, that that's an amazing moment to demonstrate that you are approaching things in a different way right yeah. so um great cool but let's 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 finish this off um talal so is there anything that you would suggest individuals that are just about to to start their preparation journey mm -hmm. yeah um for someone who's about to start i would mention i would remind them of something that's very simple like when it comes to uh preparing for this kind of stuff they're very cutthroat if you don't get in, you have to wait another year and another year is wasted, right? So take your time, prepare properly so that you don't waste a whole nother year of your life. Like even if it takes months, like I can I can just confirm, I, I took from my first day of doing the first preparation material to getting the offer seven months right that's oh, like wow quite, it was even seven bad. right so i would have i would have guessed it's like, like four to five but it was even seven for you wow yeah okay. yeah yeah well like starting literally the first day so um yes. yeah seven months till the offer and you know even if it takes that long it's worth it because now you've saved five months of your or yeah like it would be even longer than five months that you'd wasted if you if you did like your prep in like one month let's say and even one month is like normal but like really sit down get the right people behind you the support you need get and like put yourself in the best competitive advantage position you can because there are a lot of candidates out there um so that would be my advice is to commit to one way don't get like confused by a lot of different methods and a lot of different support systems and just like keep it simple and and put in the put in the effort and and put yourself in the best position possible so yeah well i cannot add anything to this so thank you so much um talala i wish you all the best for your start i'm super convinced this is going into an excellent direction and also as i told you right so many of the things you you did for that program they weren't meant to 
excel in your MVP interviews only, right? They gave you a good starting situation to also perform like an actual consultants on the projects and engagements you will be staffed to. Right? So enjoy that time and thank you <laughs> yeah. for the moment. Take care. Thank you. You as well.